here we are here we are guys welcome back to another video there we go there we go we're getting unloaded here somewhere in um what is this memphis tennessee right in front of our yard actually if y'all can see i shaved i look a little bit weird feeling a lot better since last week so right now it's already what's today thursday so it's already thursday and we are still in memphis tennessee so it's been a whole deal since monday i got a new manager so <coughs> so <coughs> i guess she's been trying to figure out how to how i work or i don't know if she's new she's trying to figure out how all of this works i'm not sure but i had another load yesterday that was picking up somewhere here going to houston to drop it off i don't know why i got switched even though my home time starts on saturday i got switched to this load which it was zero miles because it was across the street out of the terminal so i just had to bring it here then I, I guess i'm getting another load after this i mean i'm really hoping because i need to go home um so yeah that's that so i've been stuck at the terminal since monday it's already thursday they were doing some services in the, on the truck i was doing my reset all of that so it's been not fun but here we are guys thursday hopefully we can get home saturday but i don't know it's looking kind of tough unless we get something exactly going to san antonio but all right so we finished here finally uh, honestly it wasn't even that long it was probably like an hour of them unloading me like actually unloading me um but we're here on the side of the road right next to the building the terminal is literally like right there but i don't want to go all the way over there go inside park all that stuff i'm just waiting here for another load i don't have anything yet see with my other manager i would have already had a load pre-planned but i don't know man anyways we're right here waiting we'll see what they what they give us hopefully they don't take too long because my time's already running all right guys so it's uh what 145 right now about to be two we unloaded at 1108 at 1108 i was already outside the shipper waiting for another load <laughs> man i don't know if it's um if it has to do with my new manager i don't know if they don't have any more loads but it has not been a it has not been a problem until they switched me to somebody else now yeah it's gonna sound like i'm just complaining and all that and i mean I kind of i am because i've been having this home time since last week on saturday that's when i requested it it's gonna be already a whole week and i'm still all the way over here so you know what i was like all right whatever they told me they're looking for something all right i'm away supposedly i'm gonna get paid for waiting around not having a load honestly i don't know if i am because from the last load that i did which was on what was it on monday i delivered it here at the terminal on monday i think or sunday um i didn't get paid for my loading time for that load i didn't tell anything to the manager the new one i was like you know what maybe she forgot whatever so and then all of this other stuff started happening so i'm not sure what's going on man i don't know what's going on martin i don't know what you're doing but <coughs> it ain't good anyways guys they finally gave me a load knowing i have home time they gave me a load going back up going to jonesboro arkansas to pick something up coming back down to deliver it like kind of like right next to the terminal anyways i'm on my way to jonesboro arkansas to pick this thing up and uh we'll see what we get next man Guys, so we made it to the shipper they had me sweeping the trailer doing all of that stuff the guard had to double check make sure it was actually clean afterwards so that way I can go ahead and drop this one, pick up the other one, and get on out of here. 
So I ended up getting another load just right now, but it's not going home. It's going the direction of the house, but it's the it's the little town on top of Dallas. I forgot the name of it. It's a it's above Dallas. So I just I just texted them right now because I'm not gonna deliver that. I asked them if they wanted me to deliver it until Monday for. That's, that's when they gave me the appointment. So it's to pick up tomorrow, uh, to load up tomorrow at whatever time back in Memphis, and then to deliver at whatever time on Monday. So I asked them if they wanted me to load up or to unload it on Monday or split it at the Dallas terminal and then head home, either empty or if they can find me a load tomorrow, then tomorrow. But, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that, man. I don't even remember where he said to drop it. Somewhere over here, I guess. Um, I'm going to go ahead and after delivering this, I'm going to go back to the terminal. Most likely spend the night there because I think it's close to the terminal where I'm going to load up. Probably going to be close by the time I get over there. So anyway, it's no matter. But I'm going to stay there, take a shower and then uh, head on out in the morning so I can get loaded. Yeah, my boy. All right, guys. Well, as y'all saw, y'all can see over there. We got here to our delivery. Well, we're gonna drop off this trailer. And, uh, I guess they, we deliver cereal here. <laughs> they gave me a whole thing of cereal. So I'm gonna take that for my son. But most likely my wife is gonna eat that. I think she likes that kind of cereal. So yeah, I guess we're gonna go around the building and drop this trailer off, get an empty trailer. I was gonna go ahead and go to our terminal, take a shower. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably it's a. I didn't, I didn't think it was this far. Uh, this this place. I don't think it was this far. So I'm probably got, just gonna go straight to the other shipper, whatever. Oh my god, I can't even talk. Probably gonna stay over there, and uh, so that way I can get loaded in the morning like quick, cause it's a first come first serve. And, uh, you know, if I'm just right there, I can just, like, creep my way into a door and I don't have to start the clock. Just kidding. I have to start the clock. But, anyways, I'm going to go stay over there, I think. I, need, I still need to check, like, pretty good to see if there's enough space. Hopefully there is. If there's not, then I guess I'll go back to the terminal. I'll stay there. But... The plan is to go stay at, our, at the next shipper. Alright guys, so that's it for that one. Oh man. She said that we didn't have empties here. They should have the doors open. So I'm gonna, I see some right there. I just don't know if they are empty or not. So we're gonna go check. Damn, let's get this one right here. Yeah, guys, okay? <laughs> oh, damn. All right, we're hooked up. Let's go, let's go check if it's freaking clean first. And then we'll hook up. Let's see here. Let's see here. There's a whole freaking swamp back here. What the freak? Okay, tires are looking kind of tough. Look at that. <laughs> Hello. It's clean. Let's see these tires over here. Oh, uh, these are good. Yeah, we Gucci. We Gucci, we Gucci, we Gucci. All right, let's hook up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look up the other place, see where exactly how it looks outside. 
where it's at, how far it is, and uh, get on, we'll get on trucking that way. All right, my guys, senoras y senores, we have arrived. There's an office, but it's closed. <laughs> I try to check in right now, but yeah, it's closed. I mean, there's, I'm guessing that's the parking for all the employees and all the workers and stuff, but there's nobody there. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty closed, all right? So I'm gonna stay right stay here, right I'm here. Sure. Don't mind my windshield, okay? It's freaking dirty, look at that. Oh my God. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay right here. This truck right in front of me, as y'all can see. Um, Another truck over there. I think that truck is just parked there like indefinitely. I just checked on Google Maps to see if there was another another door more that way because I didn't want to walk and I didn't want to move the truck again. So I checked on Google Maps and that same truck is on the Google Maps. I mean on the Google Maps, on Google Earth. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna stay right here. Hopefully I get dock number one. I'm gonna check in. I'm gonna be right there, standing right freaking there. At six in the morning, they open at seven, they says. So I'm gonna be right there so I could be the first one to check in. Cause it's our first come for surf. So hopefully I get dock number one and it'll be easy to just you know, not um I don't have to start my clock. Uh, just kidding, just kidding, I have to start my clock. Yeah, I have to start my clock for sure. But um yeah, that's what we're doing. Spend the night here. I wish I could eat my cereal, honestly. But I have no more milk. So, yes, sir. That's what we're doing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I guess call it a day. Lay down. Eat up some food. I don't know. We'll see what we do. I need to go to the restroom, but there's no restrooms around here. Alright, guys. I came outside for a little bit just to walk around. And first, it was just this truck, then me. And then five more trucks over there. Holy crap. One, two, three, four. Oh, four is me, five. This one, six. I think this one is going over there though, I think. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be right there at like about six in the morning if they open at seven. Oh man i'm probably gonna wake up like around 5 30 just to just to make sure they don't open a little bit earlier oh but oh man yep thank god we got here at the town that we got here because if not i would have been all the way back there and uh that's no bueno but all right guys i think i'm gonna I don't know if I'm going to get some food, order some food, or just heat up another soup in here because I'm running out of food already. Or we're probably just going to go to sleep. So we'll see. But anyways, I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, guys. So here we are. We checked in. There is nobody here. It's literally just me. Everybody that was parked was going to the building in front of this one. Um, I'm the only one here. So, yep, here we are gonna they gave us a door they said 42 or 43 that's 47 45 44 should be over there somewhere so all right we're gonna back into whichever one is easier and then uh i guess just i don't think it's gonna take too long i've been looking at the reviews on on uh <clears throat> on google maps it gives you reviews uh, like all the way at the bottom so far, all I've read is that they load up pretty quick. So hopefully it's uh, the same case right now and uh, we can get out of here. It's pretty early right now. It's I think it's eight already. I was gonna go at six in the morning, but there was nobody here. Like there's no cars still. So yeah, guys, we're all backed up. So now we wait. It's, I don't even know what time it is. I think uh, eight, eight sixteen. All right. Let's see. All right, guys. So we are all done here. Finally, it's uh, I think like nine right now at yeah, nine thirty-seven. So we were there at the door for about an hour or so, getting loaded. Um. So we are like seven and a half, seven hours and forty minutes, almost eight hours 
from the terminal uh, in Dallas. That's where I'm gonna drop it off. They still haven't changed it. It still says I'm gonna drop it off at the actual place until Monday, but I am not doing that. All right, guys. Well, of course we have to get dead stop traffic. Nearly have my brakes on. Yep. There's people cutting over there on the <coughs> on this lane. So, um, I was a little bit more towards my lane and then this guy came around me but that tow truck right there was like nope cut him off so now he's stuck right there there's people over there going in reverse look at that that guy is literally driving the other way all right we made it we made it we have about 40 minutes until we had to take our um what's it called our 30 minute break so we made it here to i think it's like the last pilot coming from arkansas before i hit dallas so i'm gonna stop right here do my 30 minute break well i'm gonna take longer than 30 minutes because i haven't ate anything it's already i don't know like four something almost five i think so i'm freaking hungry i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower as well so I know that I've been saying they haven't been giving me loads, all this stuff. My manager's just been slacking. Whoever my manager is, honestly, I don't really know. But so I texted him in the morning, sent him a message. Hey, I'm gonna be at the Dallas terminal around this time. Can I please get a freaking pre-planned so I can go home? And never answered me until about probably like noon. I sent that in the morning, like at nine in the morning. Um, they didn't answer me till noon, but ended up sending me, what was it, like two different loads, I think. So one is to pick up right now when I drop this off at the terminal. It is ready, it's waiting there. That one is to deliver on Monday in San Antonio, which is pretty good. Then I have another one for Monday as well to pick up, but that's in Laredo. So deliver on Monday, pick up in Laredo, in Laredo on Monday. The only thing is, I don't think I'll be able to make it to the Laredo one because the appointment time to deliver on Monday is at nine in the morning and then to pick up in Laredo is at 12. So by the time they unload me and all that stuff, I'm not gonna have time to get there exactly at that time or exactly at 12, so I'm gonna be late or maybe they're gonna change it, I don't know. But they finally gave me my loads even though there was like really like no communication at all but i mean i got my loads and yes i feel privileged because i parked in the reserves but it's pretty early so it doesn't really matter but i locked the door we should be all right i'm just gonna go take a shower and eat so let's get it so i couldn't really record i was just trying to go 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 so it was literally like uh, i want to say maybe like maybe 10 minutes maybe uh but if that i don't even think it was 10 minutes it was probably less but anyways we got our trailer but we dropped off the trailer picked up the other one and as you can see, we're heading out already. So we're about three, three hours and 40 something minutes from, from our drop yard in San Antonio. But I have two hours and 41 minutes right now. So we're gonna have about an hour left to drive for tomorrow, but it's all good. I'm still gonna get home pretty early, I think. Guys, so oh man I was singing my heart out right now because my voice is freaking but anyways guys we made it we made it we made it 
So we have uh, 15 minutes left on our clock. And uh, I'm about, I think like an hour and a half or something like that from uh, San Antonio. So we're right by the 130. I mean, if y'all are around the area, y'all been through here, the 130 to go around Austin is literally like right there. So in the morning, I'm just gonna take that, go around Austin and uh, head on home, man. Eh? But yep, we made it here. We got lucky with the parking spot right in front of the restaurant right there. I'm about to go eat. It says any meal, anytime. So. I hope it's still open, but if it's not, I don't know, we'll get something else, hopefully, but I'm freaking starving. Anyways, guys, yep, that's it for tonight. I will see y'all in the morning. All right, guys, so it's the next morning. As y'all can see, we finally made it to our drop yard, finally home. Thank God we made it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop off the truck and call it a day. I think that's it for today's video but before we close this out gotta do a little prayer dear heavenly father thank you for allowing me to make it home safe thank you for keeping me safe out on, out on the road once again thank you for allowing us to make it home in jesus name amen and for the side note it's freaking packed oh my god all right now i'm gonna have to turn around man Everybody's home. First get to be with their family.